guys, it's Blossom and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a really fun video. It is another color series video for Create a Sim, but this video is a little bit different because I am not going to be doing like a whole like time lapse of it with just a voiceover over it. I'm actually going to be doing this basically like in real time. Like right now I am in Create a Sim with her and I thought it'd be fun to just kind of walk you guys through how I make a sim because I wanted you to do something different for this Create a Sim video. I've said Create a Sim a million times. I'm sorry, but let's go ahead and get started. So the colors I'm doing for this one, I'm doing a duo colors is black and white. I've wanted to do this color combo for a long time because it's a very very popular color combination and I feel like this sim could turn out really cute so let's get started so one of the things I like to do before I start making a sim is just taking everything off like everything like I like a blank canvas when I start working on a sim oh god she's got tattoos okay absolutely not not right now um, so when I'm making sims I like to try to keep my sims pretty diverse I don't want to keep making the same sim over and over again with the same features I try my best to make a dif different diversity of characters basically so I kind of just do what kind of feels right for black and white so um, I don't really know what I'm feeling I think that is a nice we'll start with this base and what I like to do is go in with features and start doing it so Obviously the colors are black and white, so looking at my color swatches here, obviously there's the black swatch. Oh, love that for her. <laughs> um, so we could easily give her black hair, or we could do like the white gray swatch, which, why am I feeling that? Or what I could do is give her black eyebrows, but white hair. <gasps> Wait a minute, I'm kind of feeling that, so um, I think I might keep her eyes this really black uh, eye color which I think is really cool. It looks really good on her. And I'll just kind of mess around with the features. I'll kind of give her some defaults and then I'll go into detail mode and kind of just do whatever I feel like. Like, it, I don't have like a plan is what I'm saying. Um, but, oh, okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do either. I meant to do undo. Um, oh my God, why are her lips so messed up now? Okay, I guess we'll just keep them like that, but like I said, like maybe if I've made a sim with small lips, I'll try to make sure I do like big lips in my next one or, you know, vice versa, whatever, or a big nose versus a small nose. And you guys know I love doing big eyes, so I, I can't help myself. That's the one thing I'm not diverse about <laughs> is uh, big eyes. I can't stop. They're just so cute. I like, I don't know, but we're going to give her some nice eyebrows and then let's see what we can do to the forehead and the chin maybe a little bit of a bigger a bigger chin I actually really like her so far and then I'm gonna make her head a little bit slimmer and then move her eyes closer wait why is she so cute I'm confused Okay, so after I get a facial structure base, this is just the base I can go in and tweak whenever I feel like it. We're just creating a sim here. So I go into skin details and we can go crazy. <laughs> um, so first I use my penguin skin and then I give her some eyelashes. And depending on the eye shape, um, I'll do whatever I feel like looks good on her. I actually think these might look really good on her. They kind of go like out more then like up and then I love these boo-boo blushes they're so cute and I think blush is just amazing should we give her freckles I think it might conflict with the boo-boo blush so let's not yeah I think she looks fine without um freckles anyway so now that she has a face structure with some skin details on I'm gonna go in and pick out a hair of her and we're gonna of course use this white swatch um hello Okay, there we go. Ooh, this might be really fun. So I've got my custom content tab turned on and I'm just gonna kind of go crazy with the hair. Um, this part usually takes me a long time so I am gonna speed this part up and show you guys what I end up with. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so I think I found the perfect hair for her. I actually just downloaded this one, and it is stunning. Like, look at this hair. It's so pretty, and it looks so good on her. So that's what we're going to do. So now I usually like to do the makeup, so I always give them some kind of eyeliner underneath the eye. And I guess I could do either black or white because those are her colors. And then for the makeup, I don't usually tend to, like, stick to the color I set because... I feel like that might ruin the sim in some aspects, so I don't usually do it. Um, I don't think that's breaking the rules. I mean, I didn't make any rules for this, so. Um, and then I usually play with like eyeliners and stuff, and then I'm gonna try to find a white eyeshadow that I like for her. Um, usually if I'm using like a specific color a lot, I'll try to switch it up, make sure I'm using the other color. I don't really think I have like a silver white, which is not good. I've got like pinks and like grays. Oh, this is a white. Maybe, okay, yeah, we'll use this one. So this is her makeup and then I do all of the other outfits makeups and I usually do this off camera because it takes me a while. Oh, or sometimes it stays on like that. I don't know why it does that. So like for this, I'll take off her makeup for her athletic wear and her sleepwear. I don't know why she's wearing glasses. And um, sometimes I'll switch up the makeup, but to be honest, I don't think I am this time. She's got some accessories on, but we're not going to talk about it. Um, I think I might leave her makeup like this for all of her outfits. What I might do, sometimes I'll change up like the lip color or like maybe for the cold weather, I'll do like a darker lip or something because of the colder weather. I don't know. People like to go for a darker lip, like, I don't know, you know, just kind of play around with it. Usually I would change it, but I don't think I'm going to. So now I give her a body shape, and like I was saying before, I try to make different body shapes. Um, I'll make some more curvier sims, or, you know, I'll do someone that is really slim or really um, muscular or something like that. Just trying to include all of the body shapes that I can. I don't really know. You know, just playing around with the sim and just kind of dragging parts until, you know, we'll give her a nice butt. <laughs> Why not? Um, until, you know, you feel like, all right, this looks like her. Like, it's not about picking the perfect body type. It's about picking the body type that you feel like is, like, the what's the word I'm looking for is like what you're going for with the sim I don't really know how to describe it but um because there is like no such thing as a perfect body type you know what I mean so um you know just make a sim <laughs> make a sim do whatever body type you feel I just like to keep it um different each time I do it I hope that makes sense but oh this is so cute I guess I just downloaded this because I've never seen it before um so yeah now I'm gonna pick out her outfit and this is usually the part that takes me the longest besides the hair I feel like so since she has white mostly on her head her hair is white I usually like to give her a black top or whatever the other color is um because in the thumbnail you'll be able to see kind of both the colors pretty brightly and they kind of stand out um like imagine if I gave her a white top and then you don't really see the bottom in the thumbnail so it wouldn't really look like she's a duo sim or anything like that so that's what I like to do for thumbnail purposes if you know what I mean but yeah I'm just going to play around with some outfits that's really cute I don't really know what style this girl's got going on I'm not a hundred percent sure yet like the hair is giving me free spirit vibes but I also feel like she's like a baddie but like also like trendy Oh, that is so cute. Is there a black and white one? Oh, not really. <laughs> oh my god, there's like every other color, but I'm gonna go ahead and find an outfit and I will be right back. Alright guys, so I've been playing around with her outfits for a little bit and I really like this for some reason, but I feel like I use these pants so much, so I'm kind of just exploring around my create a sim. These are also kind of cute, but the brown belt is really throwing me off, so... That's not gonna work. Is there a black and white version of these? Oh, that's cute. Wait, I like that. That's really cute. So, um, also doing this for YouTube, I have to try to make sure I'm not using the same clothes over and over again. Again, for mainly like thumbnail purposes and just, you know, my own sanity. But now that I really like her everyday outfit, I'm gonna go ahead and pick out some shoes for her. The shoes are probably the easiest part. I like those, that looks good to me. So now we're moving on to the formal wear outfit. And 
Um, I think I'm gonna do a black dress with maybe some white heels. I think that'd be super cute. I do find myself limited when it comes to, um, what's it called? Formal wears? <laughs> Formal outfits? You guys know what I mean. Um, I find myself limited. I feel like I don't have enough like pretty dresses like that's absolutely stunning on her she looks amazing um i think i'm gonna go with that and then give her some white heels <gasps> she's so beautiful are you kidding me okay so now let's go ahead and move on to the next look oh that's a cute top because it's black and white look at that and then maybe i'll just give her some leggings or i could give her there's not black of these um maybe we could just give her some of these shorts oh yeah little bicycle short looking things and I'll just give her some shoes. Black and white shoes, beautiful. I hope no one says this hair's gray because I'm scared that people might say it is. Oh look, she's already fitting her white theme with the fishnet socks. For sleeping is a little questionable, but we're not gonna talk about it. So I think I'm gonna give her a white top for this look or maybe like a white bra or something like that. <laughs> uh, I'm not really a fan of that one. What about like this, you know, baggy shirt? Ooh, that's cute on her. Let's go with that. Um, and then maybe some shorts or something. Ooh, I like those. Also, I filmed this whole thing. This whole time I've been talking, I have not had a sip of water. You guys should be proud of me. Let's give her these cute bunny slippers. My mouth is dry, though. We're gonna push through, though, because I'm too lazy to go get some. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and do her party wear. So, for me, party wear is like different because obviously and obviously party wear is when you go to a party but like not all parties are like this like parties can be like i don't know rolling up in like i don't know this or something like something less fancy like i always tend to go for the um less fancy side of it but um i don't know oh yes queen this is the same version of that shirt <laughs> that she uh was wearing earlier so oh that's so beautiful but i've already used that in one of these i think oh we could do one of these where's the black one is that the black one oh that's pretty on her i like it i like it a lot and then i think we might just do some white shoes again um uh, maybe we'll do like these stilettos <gasps> yes okay she's queen She's a queen. I already know what bathing suit I want because I know I have this mm -hmm. and I think it's perfect for her. I don't know what swatch it's in though. Oh, it's in this one. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? Oh, look at the little thing on the back. I never noticed that. All right, let's go ahead and do her um, hot weather. So obviously for hot weather, I like to stick to like shorts or maybe a skirt or something like that. Um, so like, oh, those are short. Okay, booty shorts has a new example picture <laughs> um let's see i'm gonna look for some black shorts i don't know oh these are quite cute i don't think they really fit her style though i'm looking for here they are these ones are are those i don't know they look more blue maybe i'll just go with these it's fine right they're black enough right they're dark dark pants oh, i love this top i use it so often like i can't help myself you know um oh i gotta be looking for white a white on the top i use that also way too much I'm trying to not use the same things over and over again um that's quite cute it's got a little black and white on it so you know it's okay and then usually i just give them those base game shoes they're just so easy to find i'm way too lazy to like search for like anything else if i do give them something it'll usually be the birkenstocks which i can't even find them where are they they're on this page. I'm missing them. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> Maybe I'll just give her those. <laughs> All right, let's get it, girl. Let's get your cold weather outfit. We're on the last outfit. If you're still sticking around, if you're still here, comment. Hmm, what's something witty you can comment? Comment. Um. Oh my god, I can't think of anything witty comment oh that's so cute on her i'm sorry i'm getting off track comment down below oh my god literally my brain literally is not working that's a cute outfit hold on guys i will figure this out all right guys i've got it if you've made it this far comment down below where is peppa peppa pig comment where is peppa 
that's how I know you a real one. All right. <laughs> so um, that's about it. This is her little winter outfit. Again, very black and white. So now for, oh, this is such a cute outfit. Oh my God. I'm dead. Okay. So then I usually just pick an aspiration of what I feel like is good for her. So I'm going to give her like the actress, actress one. And then I usually give her um, the traits that are going with the color. I don't know if anyone has noticed this, but I try to do this. Um, so as you can see, most of the traits have black and white in them. Um, it's just a little thing. And then I'll give her a last name of one of the colors when this was much easier when there was only one color involved. And then I'll just give her a random name. Um, I usually randomize until I see one. Why did I like angel, you know, because of the white? Oh yes, queen. So this is her. And then I'll take some screenshots of her get this edited and get it up for you guys. And that is how I make my color Sims for my series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing this. Let me know if you guys, which style you prefer to these, whether you like the typical voiceover short videos that are like four minutes long, or if you like these longer videos with me talking to you guys in real time this was a lot of fun so i hope you guys did like this but i'll do whatever you guys please um i just wanted to do something different today but anyway thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys